I know not a lot of people watch my videos. It's unfortunate, man, because I really want to start making videos to help people. A lot of you out there are just like me, your typical American, or you could just be a typical individual from anywhere. And you don't realize, man, that you've got a lot to be afraid of. You really do. You have a tremendous amount to be afraid of, man. And nothing hits home any harder when idiots are running reckless like they are in the White House out in front of my house and killed this innocent little cat, man, that I had. You know, God says that animals have a soul, and I believe in God, Jehovah God, the only true God there is. Psalms 83, verse 18, For he whose name is alone, Jehovah, is the highest over all of the earth. <coughs> so, with that being said, we have a lot to lose, man, and, and losing that baby like I did last night, uh, we raised them all the way from the time they were babies, you know, and I don't know, man, they might have been five months old, still young kittens, you know, or fast, coming into adulthood, but not quite there, <clears throat> and, um, it just made me realize, you know, that man, you lose somebody you love, I don't give a shit if you think you can eat nails. You know, you are affected by this, man. There's a thing in this world that can make you cringe and this is what people doing right now, man. And I, I do believe that they're going to cause something terrible to happen. Uh, it's just a matter of time that people do it ran by in the United States. The United States is ran by evildoers right now. Evildoers are in control. Satan, worshipers, and uh, <coughs> they're gonna kill, man, they're going to kill off a bunch more of us, and I guarantee you that shit. And uh, the only the only one that can stop them is Jehovah God. And so I, I told my neighbor Kelly, you know, when the devil, Satan, is done with this world, you will cry and beg for Jehovah God to return. <laughs> Believe me, you guys think you're so far away from me. You're not that far away from me. You know? Like my stepdad told me, this is what you got to look forward to, right? Getting old. And it don't take you long to get old, man. And when you're old, guess what? You're there. You're old. And you think you can't relate with the whole earth. Of course you can relate with every single person on this earth, you know. That right there is all you're going to hear around this place, man, every day. Every day, man. Ambulance running up and down the road, you know. And, uh, <coughs> what's the hurry, you know what I mean? What is the hurry, man? How's the slow Turn the damn bullshit off, man, so we don't have to listen to it every day. Seriously. <coughs> There's people in control right now that's going to block a bunch more of us, man, our food and our water. Everything you've been told is a damn lie, man. It really is. We've got so many factors going against us. They've fooled with the food, man, genetically modified it. You can go after from peach or whatever. It ain't home. It won't grow. It will not grow. They don't want you to have the most valuable thing that a man can have, and that is a garden, man, a food source. They don't want you to have it, man. You know, they want you to be completely dependent on them. They want you to buy your groceries so they can poison you, so you don't have a single chance in hell of getting good food from your stomach. Man. So they can systematically, mathematically snuff you right out, you know. And we used to say, you know, they, they would... Uh, Snuff you out and kick dirt on your face or bury me. Now it's incinerate you. They don't bury people anymore, folks. <coughs> Unless they're one of the few and wealthy people that get married, you know. And uh, this is such a morbid society now that they'll dig people up, like my uncle Melvin, man, ex delegate, run for governor. They were told not to go in that direction because the, uh, the lady told them that they wanted to be buried on 
on that property, you know, because he loved that land. And those hydraulic flackers, or frackers, rather, flackers also, hydraulic flackers dug his coffin up, man, and left him sitting on the surface of the earth, man. Just dug it up and left it sitting there, and she came home after three or four days gone. And this is what she came home to, man. I'm telling you, man, about people now. I'm telling you right now. And if you can't relate with that, you know, you must be stupid. So you can relate with people to try. And, uh, that's where I'm from, man. I was born up in West Virginia. I don't care where it is, man. This earth is holy. It was made by Jehovah God. It's good say, he that destroys the earth shall be destroyed. Those who destroy the earth shall be destroyed. 